At IDEX 2017, the German company Rheinmetall Defense presents a wide range of military equipment, including combat vehicles, simulation training system, mission equipment, air defense systems, protection systems, weapon and ammunition, and naval systems. This is our new product, PanoView, and what we're trying to solve is uh, for commanders of infantry fighting vehicle, um, they basically have the problem that um, to get the full situation awareness, they more or less nowadays need to stick out their head out of the hatch and take a look around. The other means they have is uh, episcopes, vision blocks, remote controlled weapon stations, but they only get a fraction of the situation. And we are solving this. Um, we are feeding live images from around the video um, to the commander and the crew and the commander will be able to operate inside the tank protected by the vehicle uh, without the need to stick out uh, his head off the hatch. We are able to um, stream in different feeds from UAVs for example, other vehicles, helmet cams and um, it's all superimposed on the image the commander can see and we are also adding additional information uh, from command and control systems and battle management systems. So he really knows where are his own troops, where's the enemy, and is totally aware of the surroundings without using different devices. It's all in his VR goggles. And what you see in behind me here is the backbone of the system PanoView. So what you need for PanoView is um, you need a camera system which constantly um, surveys the surrounding of the vehicle and how we do that we have a lot of um, yeah, electro-optical sensors put around the vehicle also connect uh, other devices like laser warning system acoustic shooter location system which we combine also with effectors so we have a um, IP based network infrastructure here in every vehicle and are now able to modular and have a scalable approach to yeah, connect different sensors and effectors together and then have also pan of view as one, yeah, one method to show what the sensors um, uh, record outside of the vehicle. And these are the parts of our situational awareness family. So we have on the left here the electro-optical uh, sensors. So here is the double camera module. As I said, day and night view is combined. We have um, a triple camera module, there you can choose whether it is a day or a night vision system. So one would cover then 180 degrees, so you need two at least. We have the acoustic shooter location system, as I said before, detecting incoming um, yeah, rounds, fire from snipers for example. Mm -hmm. And we have the laser warning module which detects every incoming laser from laser rangefinder, laser target designator or laser guided weapon systems. What we do, we fuse all our sensor information into one crew terminal and um, so that the commander and the crew are able to have all information from all sensors at the same time. We're from Rheinmetall Canada. We're uh, one of the many business units of the Rheinmetall Group. Uh, what we are showing here is our capabilities in the unmanned ground vehicles system. Uh, what we came up with is, is a platform based on the J8 Argo 8-wheel uh, uh, all-terrain vehicle. And it's got uh, various capabilities uh, to be either remotely controlled or unmanned. I think most of, of the companies coming up with, with such products have, have their idea how, how such platforms can enhance the capabilities on the modern uh, battlefield. Um, our uh, idea here was to make it modular. So uh, what we see here is one example of a surveillance suite. Uh, but, but our plan is, is to be able to develop on the same platform uh, various configurations, including uh, radio relay, ambulance, uh, mule, uh, and, and even um, a station with a uh, weapon station on it. So first of all, this, this platform has uh, some key characteristics uh, such as um, being able to, uh, to be driven uh, with batteries for up to 8 hours, speed 40 kilometers per hour, 
This is also amphibious, uh, so the vehicle will be able to swim uh, at a speed of uh, five to eight kilometers per hour. Uh, with regards to the surveillance suite, um, because we're a system integrator, we will be able to put any types of cameras or payload according to their requirements. Um, here we have a three meter mast, and uh, what we have is, is a camera that is both a, a thermal imager uh, and also day camera. Uh, but again, we could have also a laser range finder, uh, we could have various devices, uh, even a target designator, because we can integrate various solutions uh, for the needs of the users. Here we are located at our simulated command post, which is normally remotely located. And this is showing how we can also see what the robot or the UGV will see. So the top screen on the right shows the front camera of our J8. The screen, bottom screen on the left will show the rear view of the camera. And uh, what we see here on the bottom right is actually uh, what we have from the mast. That's the IR uh, camera. And uh, of course, that's the one that can be controlled remotely. And if I use uh, the stick here, I can actually move this camera and uh, look at various people and uh, see what we can do. So those are some of the features uh, that we display on the surveillance UGV. The Leopard 2 PL is a good sample of what can do Rhine Metal Defense to upgrade Leopard 2 main battle tank. The main battle tank advanced technology demonstrator represents the new benchmark for modern combat system in the area of lethality, survivability and commandability. At IDEX 2017, Rhine Metal Defense presents a new version of the Weasel 2 fitted with a remotely operated weapon system armed with 7.62mm machine gun. The Weasel Light Reconnaissance Vehicles represent the next step for reconnaissance superiority for airborne operation. Based on the latest version of the Weasel 2, the LRV adapts perfectly into the Army's concept of airborne mission around the world. The Weasel 2 can be customized to host up to six fully equipped soldiers in air condition and NBC protected compartment. It can also serve as mobile command post or joint fire support vehicle equipped with additional sensor and target acquisition system. Rhine Metal Man Military is another subdivision of Rhine Metal Defense who present a full range of tactical trucks. As the HX 8x8 and the TGS Mil 8x8 medium mobility truck system with cargo body. The fully integrated Fuchs 2 NBC reconnaissance system combines state-of-the-art CBRN detection equipment with the proof, reliable and highly mobility Fuchs 2 6x6 carrier vehicle. The Ehrlichon Field Ranger 20 is a high-precision stabilized 20mm weapon station designed for mounting on armored personnel carrier or on special forces vehicle. The weapon station can also be used in fixed installation for the protection of infrastructure or border control. The Gladius dismounted soldier system. The Gladius soldier system enhanced the operational success of infantry warriors to the maximum level using real-time data exchange between soldiers, the squad vehicle and corresponding networks. The common operational pictures enables absolute information superiority on the battlefield. Gladius has been designed using an open architecture to enable easy integration of new components. In the field of air defense system, at IDEX 2017, Rhine Metal Defense presents its X-Star 3D tactical acquisition radar and the Ehrlichon revolver gun MK3 and the Ehrlichon high energy laser gun. Sea Snake 27 naval gun system. It is based on the existing MLG 27, except it is lighter, has a smaller footprint, is more precise, and has no deck penetration. The model showcased at IDEX is shown here with an optional high energy laser module. 